Hi there. Now in this question we're given a sequence a1, a2, a3 and it's defined by the first term a1 equaling 4 and the n plus 1th term a n plus 1 is equal to k times the nth term a n plus 2 for n greater than or equal to 1 where k is a constant. And what we've got to do then in part a is find an expression for the second term a2 in terms of k and then given that sigma i going from 1 to 3 for ai equals 2 we've got to find the two possible values of k. So if you'd like to have a go at this just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay welcome back then if you had a go. Well for the first part here okay what we've got to do then is find the expression for the second term a2 in terms of k and it's fairly straightforward what I'm going to do though is just pad it out a bit just take it uh, carefully through and to get the second term what we do is we set n equal to 1 so when n equals 1 you can see we're going to get a1 plus 1 a2 so therefore a2 is going to equal k multiplied by a1 plus 2 let's just put that in as a1 plus 2 and so what is a1 well we're told that a1 the first term in the sequence is 4 so we've got k multiplied by 4 plus 2 in other words the second term is 6k all right now we come on to the next part part b and in part b then what we've got to do is well we're given that the sum of the terms ai i going from 1 to 3 is equal to 2 and whenever I get anything involving sigma notation what I tend to do is expand it out so therefore what we got here is when i equals 1 we've got a1 sigma meaning plus and then when i is 2 we get a2 and then when i is 3 we get plus a3 so we're told that the sum of the first three terms in other words equals 2 well we know what the first term is a1 we're told it's 4 we've just worked out what the second term a2 was in terms of k it was 6k what we've got to do is work out what the third term is and we can do that by going back up to here and setting n equal to 2 so that gives us a3 is equal to k times a2 plus 2 but we know what a2 is okay it was 6k so what we've got here for a3 is going to be the k multiplied by a2 which was 6k then and then plus this 2 and we're told then it all equals the 2 so it's just a case now of expanding the bracket so we've got the first two terms 4 plus 6k now if we expand the bracket we get 6k squared plus 2k equals 2 and now I can see that we've got a quadratic equation here so I'm going to need to group up my terms and make it equal to 0. So I've got 6k squared, we'll lead with the k squared term and then for the k terms we've got plus 6k plus 2k so that's plus 8k and if we subtract 2 from both sides we've got 4 minus 2 which is plus 2 and that equals 0. Now I could divide through by 2 I can see it's a common factor so if I divide by 2 I end up with 3k squared plus 4k plus 1 equals 0 and I'm sure this factorizes there's nothing given here like express k to so many decimal places or give it as insert form so I know that I don't really need to use the quadratic formula so if we split this up into two brackets and it equals 0 I can see that I'm going to have to have a 3k there and a k there 
two numbers that multiply together to give one and I can see it's just got to be a one and a one and I can check out that 3k times 1 is 3k and 1 times k is k so that gives me 3k plus k is 4k. So that means now that it's factorized either the first factor 3k plus 1 must equal 0 or the second factor k plus 1 must equal 0. And from this equation, if I subtract 1 from both sides, 3k would equal minus 1, and then divide both sides by 3, I get k equals minus 1 third. And for this second equation, just simply subtract 1 from both sides, and we get k equals minus 1. Alright?